Yo, what is up guys, it's Vodzubis here. Today, uh, I want to tell you why it's actually worth to buy beats. Not only through the technical perspective, but also through the perspective uh, of making a song as an artist and then releasing it. Let's start from the audio, the technical side of things. Let's pretend you are making rap music and you've been downloading free beats from YouTube for non-profit use. You've been publishing some songs here on SoundCloud, on YouTube. One day you've decided to get more serious about it. You've downloaded some more beats from YouTube and uh, you thought you need a mix. And you need someone more professional at mix than you. Because most of artists can't mix and master their own songs. You've recorded your vocals, you've finished the session, you send it to the mixing engineer. Of course you've paid for it. Uh, for example, you found a guy uh, on a Facebook group or on Instagram, he charged you like 40, 50 bucks for a really basic mix. And here is the first very wrong thing. First of all, the beat you've downloaded from YouTube is an MP3 and it's usually 128 kilobits per second. Okay, okay, but what does it actually mean? MP3 is a lossy format. It means uh, it doesn't contain as much information as the beats in Wave that you can purchase uh, on BeatStars or somewhere else. 128 kilobytes, that number, what does it mean? The most simple explanation of kilobytes per second is the amount of data that is being transferred per second. So you've got these small blocks of data uh, and every second you hear a block of data. The highest quality of MP3 can be 320 kilobytes per second uh, and it's the highest uh, quality that you can reach with the mp3 format. It's being used by Spotify, for example, but the low quality mp3, uh, the 128 kilobytes per second is used, for example, uh, by YouTube. And as an audio engineer, I can tell you that making a mix on an mp3 from YouTube and making a mix on a WAV file purchased from BeatStars, uh, Airbit, or from any independent producers out there is a game changer. A lot of poor quality mp3s uh, does not have a lot of the high end, so uh, the beat is just much less bright. The quality of the high end is it's much, much worse. The hi-hats, uh, all the details from the drums, snares, uh, they are just gone. The second thing is uh, the dynamics. Uh, the beats that are usually uploaded to YouTube uh, are previews. The role of a preview tagged beat is to attract the attention of a potential customer. And these beats are super loud. Uh, this, is, this is the loudness that you achieve after a full mix. So if you take that kind of beat, which is super loud, which has almost no dynamic range, you can't really fit the vocal into the beat because there is no space for the vocal. You can do some tricks with the EQ, but you know, those are tricks, those aren't techniques that are meant to be used in that kind of situation because there shouldn't be that kind of situation um, in a serious production. And I've mentioned the tagged version. Yeah, most of the free non-profit beats have tags all over uh, the beat and it just doesn't sound uh, serious. I don't really understand the rappers and other artists mostly rappers because I'm working with rappers in the first place. They don't want to buy beats they cost like 30 to 40 bucks for a wave license, which is everything you need for a good mix if, if the mix of the beat is, is decent. They come to me, they pay me like 50, 80 bucks for the mix, um, but they don't want to buy the beat itself, which would change and which would make the, the sound a lot, a lot better. I don't really understand rappers who don't want to buy beats uh, because if, if someone claims to be a serious artist that wants to do music seriously, uh, not like drop a song um, here and there and, you know, maybe something will happen. I'm talking about people who know what their goal is and they are going to achieve this goal and they are actually building a fan base, not like dropping songs on the internet, hell yeah, I'm a rapper. No, 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 no. And if you buy a beat from a good producer, for example, me, uh, you get a beat with a headroom, so with the space to actually fit the vocal into the beat and mix everything together. The beat is in wave, which means it's high quality um, and it has much more information and much more details uh, in the sound itself. I'm not going to describe the sampling rates here and all the technical stuff, because this video is not meant to be 
technical. Fortunately, I'm seeing more and more artists that uh, are coming to me that are serious. They have a decent quality uh, beats, decent quality instrumentals, everything is recorded correctly. And that's a really good thing. But on the other hand, I still meet a lot of people that like, I don't want to buy beats because you know, the, this leasing thing is like, I pay uh, uh, 40 bucks to a producer and he can sell this beat to someone else. It's, it's, I want this beat exclusively. Then I say, okay, no problem. The, the price for the exclusive rights for this beat is 500 bucks. And usually I haven't heard a single word anymore from them. And honestly, if you are not buying a beat that has like 5 million uh, views on YouTube and you are buying a lease, the chance of meeting uh, another rapper uh, on the same beat is very, very little. The beat leasing business was actually developed uh, not only for producers to get rich and get a lot of money, it was also developed because uh, there is a lot of independent artists, there's a lot of smaller artists who don't have a budget to buy 10 beats for the whole album paying 500 bucks per beat because that would probably be all of their savings if, if not even more but I think beat leasing is a very good option for uh, smaller artists because they can get a high quality instrumental that they can use uh, all across the world on any streaming platform uh, for the price of like 30 40 bucks and seriously I don't understand and I don't know if I will ever understand uh, a situation when someone's downloading a free beat with tags uh, in, in a really, really uh, poor quality, he's sending it uh, for mixing, for example, to me, he pays me those 80 bucks for a mix and uh, he doesn't even want to buy a beat. That's just pointless. <laughs> that, that, that doesn't make any sense. If you're going to be serious about your music, then don't save on such things as instrumentals because the beat, the instrumental, is a huge part of the song. It's actually uh, the base of the song, you know? It's the planet and you are the human on the planet. So you can uh, either fly on a f small freaking rocky uh, asteroid or you can buy yourself a really, really nice green planet uh, full of uh, trees and fruits on the trees and, you know, everything is colorful. And you can sit on the beach, you can drink some cocktails and you are happy. But the guy on this small asteroid, which is an MP3 bit from YouTube sent for uh, mixing, is, is always going to be like, he's making one step and he's at the end of the asteroid. He can only make one step back and he's on the other end of the asteroid. I don't know if you got this weird astronomical uh, comparison, but anyways. I think I need to make another video about the bit licensing and the whole idea of bit leasing because I think it's too misunderstood and people just don't know what they are buying. I've heard about a lot of situations that artists were surprised that uh, they don't have the beat exclusively if they paid like 40 bucks for a wave lease. And think from another perspective. Would you buy yourself a studio equipment, maybe only the basic studio equipment for making beats, uh, the software, FL Studio, anything, buy samples, then spend a few hours making the beat uh, and, you know, uh, for the past two years you are learning how to make beats and then uh, would you actually sell something uh, for 40 bucks exclusively and this is your only profit from, from the beat itself? Personally, I think it's just not worth it because most of the times you will just sell a part of your life of your time, this, this, those few hours and the experience you've been gaining and um, that kind of stuff, you will sell it for 40 bucks and you will never hear about that beat again. That is all for today, guys. Thank you for watching. And if you want to hear more about beat licensing, that kind of things in general, just let me know in the comment section down below. And if there are any rappers watching this right now, what do you think about what I've said? Are you leasing beats or are you buying exclusives from uh, producers? Let me know in the comment section down below. My name is Dominic. You've been watching Vodzu Beats and keep the good vibes alive.